What is a clown fiesta? Well, it's basically a bizarre series of events in which nobody knows what is going on. And it's often applied to League of Legends games in instances of sloppy play and ridiculous moments. Here are the five biggest clown fiestas in League of Legends history. Number five. Way back in 2012, Curse and Dignitas met in the grand finals of MLG Raleigh, but rather than play it out in normal fashion, the two teams agreed to make it an ARAM. Part of the agreement was that they would allegedly also split the first place prize money. Although the game was wildly entertaining, as the teams combined for 151 kills, Curse and Dig were later disqualified as the collusion violated MLG's rules. Number 4 When the results of a competitive game mean nothing, occasionally teams will make troll picks and take the game rather lightly. But Alliance and Millennium took it to another level in the 2014 Summer Split. With Ash Jungle, Ramus Top, and a Leona Jarvan bot lane, the two teams exchanged jabs for almost 40 minutes. Massive team fights escalated the kill count as the end result was 92 kills and a meaningless win for Alliance. Number 3 Mechanically, this game was perfectly fine, but the ending was nothing short of insane. A bloodbath early. The craziness started around 20 minutes when UOL took down Baron. They cracked Fnatic's in Hibline but couldn't end the game. Shortly later, Fnatic took a Baron of their own and attempted to finish the game. Hillisang is down, the Nexus turret is down, they're onto the Nexus, Fnatic look useless. like they're standing at 33 minutes, Fnatic are taking down the Unicorns of Love, no. a few more hits, no, no, no. what, what? Fnatic spent the next 5 minutes trying to backdoor their opponent's Nexus, but eventually, it'd be the Unicorns who would get the win. Power of Evil's got him, can Power of Evil turn around? Can he get from Steelback, he can't Fnatic's find can Fnatic, Steelback is looking for Power of Evil, Unicorns have done it, Unicorns have beaten Fnatic! Number 2 This could possibly be the worst played game of Professional League ever, and it started from the very beginning. They have the double TP, they can open up the lane. Woo! Really? Oh. oh my word. Take it to Kiwi! Quick, take the turret so you get the gold back, right? Did they shut down the turret? Oh. <laughs> You'd think Dig losing two members to a turret would be the worst of it. The Renegades answered back immediately by handing two kills over to the Rift Herald. 45 minutes later, the game ended in perfect fashion for a game of this caliber. We may get the kill here from Seraph. The fight on this the pass, and it is going to be huge. Damage is down to one hit. Seraph with the fire. We called the top laner would make plays in his substitution, and Seraph comes forth to do so. Renegades takes down Team Dignitas. Number one. In the final week of the LPL Spring 2015 season, Invictus and LGD faced off with a lot on the line. However, both teams wanted to lose as the winner would have to face the hottest team, EDG, in the playoffs. Of course, obviously throwing a game would result in disqualification, which led to this series being named Oscar Night, as players acted as though they were trying to win. Following an endless amount of solo kills and the match being prolonged, Officials stepped in to pause the game, which interestingly ended just over a minute later. My goodness, it was beautiful to see, and IG, they're going to lock down the 2-0 after this very interesting second match.